Book 233. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about writing ritual and religion over 300,000 years ago. That's right. Writing ritual and religion over 300,000 years ago. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, a long, long time ago, an archaeological discovery was made that has turned the scientific world upside down. For years, mankind has taught that humanity evolved from more primitive creatures, and for thousands of years, humanity has been slowly learning and developing technology and becoming smarter and smarter. We have been made to believe that the further back in time we go, in essence, the dumber our distant ancestors become. However, this view of intelligence constantly progressing with each new generation is not entirely true, and it is somewhat disrespectful to those who came before us. Our current generation is not the pinnacle of intelligence in our history on this planet. In fact, the Greek philosopher Plato tells us that the Egyptians viewed things differently. In Egypt, it was taught that civilization and human development was akin to the ocean's tide rising and falling. Mankind, over hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years, has gone from living primitively to experiencing high levels of civilization many different times. And always, when humanity was thriving with complex thought and their own types of technology, a cataclysm would hit the earth, many people would be killed, the knowledge that was once had would be lost, and mankind would be forced to start over and relearn the things that were forgotten and lost. This resetting of human development has happened countless times and in countless places and all over the earth there are structures which modern man cannot explain without accepting that ancient man knew far more than we give them credit for knowing. There has even been a discovery now that shows the species of human we now call Homo naledi had writing, ritual and religion some 300,000 years ago. Archaeologists discovered a cave in South Africa where these early humans once buried their dead in ritualistic fashion. If one in their group would die, they would retrieve the body and make a long and dangerous journey to the heart of this particular cave to bury them. This journey was indeed a ritual because the Homo Naledi used it to mimic their mythological stories of how the soul journeys into the afterlife after death. They would also bury their dead with ritual goods. One child was buried with a stone tool that was used for carving into the rock walls in order to write symbols upon them. These symbols were indeed forms of writing because they conveyed a particular message to anyone who could read them. These carvings explained how to locate the burial area and they were part of the ritual as well. In Homo Naledi mythology, the first man to successfully navigate through the afterlife left markings upon the walls to mark his path so that he would not get lost if he needed to turn back. The Homo Naledi believed that one could get lost on their journey to paradise in the afterlife just like someone could get lost within the burial cave. So, the child was buried with the writing tool so that they could mark the correct path in the afterlife. This way, when others died after them, they could read the symbols, follow the path, and make safe passage into paradise. Indeed, it was arrogance and ego that made modern men believe they were the first to bury the dead, contemplate the afterlife, employ rituals and mythology in their understanding of the world, but all of this is false. Humanity has risen and fallen over and over, and if we are not careful, humanity will suffer and fall yet again. And so, the morning motivation of today is writing ritual and religion over 300,000 years ago. Today, try your best to control your ego and find balance between being confident and narcissistic. When we are too egotistical and we think that no one has ever done what we aspire to do, we put ourselves in the perfect position to deceive ourselves and miss out on information that can help our understanding. You are indeed special and great, but others around you are special and great as well. Try to see the beauty in yourself as well as the beauty in others and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books by the author Matthew Daniels, search Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbigherm.com.